Hey folks, it's Ray at DCRamRaker.com here, and take your first look at the new Scadio 2 Plus, right there. Now, this is not the only thing Scadio announced today. They also announced a new keyframing feature, which is available on both the Scadio 2 Plus as well as the regular Scadio 2. Uh, and I've got an entire deep dive, hands-on, how that all works video up in the corner there you will definitely want to check out. So there are essentially three hardware changes that are happening on the Scadio 2 Plus. Uh, now, the first one is actually the most obvious one. In fact, you see it on the drone itself, which are these little pop-up antennas. Uh, this pops up like this and now you get more range. Scadio says it's double the range, up to six kilometers with the existing controller, so this controller right here, and it's using newer five gigahertz Wi-Fi antennas that are much stronger than in the past. And then in fact, that carries over into other portions of antenna reception, including the new Scadio 2 beacon that you see right here. This also doubles the range, uh, now up to three kilometers from the previous claimed 1.5, though, I don't know who ever got 1.5 kilometers of that, but we'll pretend this gets three kilometers. And now this looks, as you can see, identical to the existing beacon. It's literally identical, except inside it's got new magic. Uh, and what's cool is this is compatible with the existing Scadio 2 as well. So if you've got that, uh, that will increase the range, though Scadio says not quite that three kilometers claim because this obviously has new antennas on top, but it does increase it a fair bit. The next change is the new battery. Uh, so this battery right here looks identical to the existing battery, so you can see that right here, except on the back, this one is roughly 60 watt hours. Uh, so you can see 59.89 watt hours, and the old one is 48.6 seven, nine watt hours. And they are in fact backwards compatible. Now on the new Scadio 2 Plus, the new battery will get you about 27 minutes of flight time, which Scadio says is the 20% increase compared to the previous battery. Now I don't have any good real world comparison data yet there, mostly because yesterday in my flights, it was like crazy windy, 50 kilometers an hour winds and the winds were shifting in direction and stuff. So it's not like a really fair time to test batteries side by side and see how well they work. But I will do that down the road in my full review. The point there being that you can use these interchangeably and that's exactly what I did all day yesterday using just a stack of batteries, both Scadio 2 Plus ones as well as regular ones uh, in the Scadio 2 without any issues. Beyond that though, there are actually no other hardware changes in this drone itself. Uh, it is identical. Scadio says things like the camera, the obstacle sensors, everything else is the same. Uh, they do note there are some tiny like componentry changes inside that's normal for virtually every company out there over the course of an entire manufacturing life cycle. Things like chipsets eventually go out of stock and they put new ones in there that have no meaningful difference to you um, or the actual experience of the drone itself. Thus, as a result of that, I wouldn't expect this to perform any differently out on the road or the trees or whatever else is the case because everything is the same. Obviously, there is some slight limited visibility of this top obstacle avoidance sensor, but it's pointed in a direction that was already covered by these particular sensors. So certainly Scadio has done their work here and they're saying it shouldn't have any difference at all. Next up, we've got pricing. Now there are four different kits here. I'm gonna go through my little list. Uh, number one is the base starter kit. Uh, and that starter kit, you get the drone, the battery, and extra props and a charger. That is $1,099. You then got the sports kit, which is 1,549 US that adds in the beacon, uh, three batteries in total, and the battery charger kit that allows you to dual charge batteries. Uh, above that, there is a cinema kit. That's everything a sports kit, plus a regular controller, a hard case, and some ND filters. And then beyond that, there's the pro kit for 2169, uh, which includes more props, a holder, and higher end support. Now you'll notice I said in there US dollars, and that's because to the disappointment of everyone here, Scadio is still not expanding beyond essentially the US and Canada. Uh, and I asked them why not, and they said it's kind of a blend of two things. One, they're focused production-wise and manufacturing facility-wise and capacity-wise on the US right now. Uh, and they said, additionally, there's some regulatory issues as well they're trying to work through in various other countries. They said it's still on their radar to do and to get to, but there's no good news there for everyone else that lives outside North America. There is, however, some good news. If you're the type of person that happens to crash their drone a lot with like, trees or canals or things of that nature, uh, which is this new Scadio care policy. Now, in a sense, this is identical to what DJI has in their care refresh policy. Essentially, you pay an upfront fee. In the case of the Scadio 2 Plus, that's $150 for the first year or $250 for two years. And then you pay a per incident fee of either $150 for the first incident or $200 for the second incident. And if the drone flies away completely or goes into the water or is gone, where well, you cannot recover anymore. In that case, you pay a $550 fee, which is pretty pricey, but it looked and it's virtually identical to the pricing that DJI has for their Air 2S, which has almost the same price as the Scadio 2 does. Now, of course, at this point, you're watching that little YouTube channel on the bottom going, you get pretty close to the end of the video, and we haven't seen this thing fly yet. And 
Neither have I.、Uh, they're having some issues with getting this aircraft to go into the air,、uh, and so in particular, getting it to actually properly start up is the the particular issue right there.、Uh, Scadio is working through that,、uh, and I think they know what the problem is at this point. They're going to get it all sorted out for me in the near future. So once that happens, then I'll put it through its usual paces、uh, in canals and trees and all the stuff that I always do for drones、uh, to validate that what they say that nothing's actually changed from an obstacle and tracking and usage standpoint.、Uh, but in the meantime, if you want to. Check out my full keyframing video up in the corner, mostly because I spent way too much time on that, both freezing my butt off outside as well as、uh, editing it and all the fun stuff. So it's actually a pretty fun video, and I think you might enjoy it.、Uh, and then definitely hit the subscribe button so that when I do drop the in-depth review on this,、uh, you are ready with the ding dong bell, whatever it is, to watch that video. With that, if you found this video interesting or useful, go ahead and whack that like button at the bottom there. As I just said, hit subscribe for all the rest of the January awesomeness. That have a good one.